Hi, this is Gareth Madison with Dynamax. Today I want to quickly show you how to set up your automatic generator start, which is available on the ISADA 5, Force HD, DX3, and DynaQuest XL. This is the inverter panel, typically located to the right of your living space slide-out opposite the door. So to open up the Autogen Start settings, press the AGS button. Now there are eight different functions that can be set here, and to toggle through them, simply turn the dial. The eight different functions include, number one, AGS control, which is essentially your on-off switch where you enable your AGS. Number two, AGS status, which will display status indications such as off or ready. Number three, runtime hour, which is where you can tell your generator how long to run. Number four, start temp which is where you can tell your generator at what detected temperature to boot up for AC purposes. Number five, start volts, which is where you tell your generator what voltage level to start at. Number six, set time, which allows you to set the internal clock of the generator. This mainly works in conjunction with quiet time. Number seven, quiet time, which is for when you're at a campsite that doesn't allow generators during certain hours. You can assign a curfew for your generator to stay off in the night. And number eight, AGS Tech, which displays data regarding the condition of your generator and AGS. In order to open the options for a function, you must press in on the dial like a button to select it. Then rotate the dial again to toggle through your options. For example, if I want to change set time, Rotate to number 6 and press in on the dial. Then rotating the dial again, you will have control of changing the hour. Press it again and you can change the minute. Next you'll be able to toggle between AM and PM. And press it one last time. After that, you're done and can toggle to another setting you desire to change or view. Now it's worth noting that this is the AGS-N interface. If you have an older unit, you may be equipped with the AGS-S interface, which looks like this. If that's the case, you'll need to go out to the electrical utility bay on the outside of your coach to change the AGS settings. There you will find the same functions are adjustable via dial knobs. Hopefully this was helpful. Please let us know what other videos you'd like to see pertaining to your Dynamax coach.